Well, it is the Olympics of the opera singing, of the classical singing in the world. You know, it's, it's once in two years, uh, enormous exposure, because you, you are in, um, the broadcasts are on TV, on radio, online, you know, everyone in the world has the access to see you performing on that moment and doing your thing. I couldn't believe, I really couldn't believe. You know, you get this email, you read through it, it says, congratulations, you've passed um, to the final of the PPC Cardiff Singer of the World. And the first thought is, oh, that's surely it's a mistake. Surely it is not to me. But it was. <laughs> that was wonderful, really. I mean, bearing in mind my audition, um, I had tonsillitis in the audition, in the live round. Um, and I didn't, I didn't tell them beforehand. I wanted to just go in and try it. But my voice gave way in my third piece in Elite. And I had to tell them. And so skipped a piece, went on to my fourth piece. And so after that, you know, I was obviously gutted. So much work had gone into it, et cetera. Um, and didn't think I had any chance because of that. So when this email came through, I, you know, I thought it was the polite thank you, but better luck next time. And I saw that I'd been successful and I screamed in a rehearsal and then realized that I had to keep it private and pretend I stubbed my toe. I got an email just before Christmas that I'd made the final of the BBC Cardiff Singer of the World. And yeah, that was a, I, I think, I don't know, I was a, a little bit in, in shock when I read it. I had to read it twice. And I was with my colleagues sitting at a table. I think it was lunchtime. And all of a sudden I went very quiet. One doesn't really expect a, an email to, like that to come through. In RCS, every moment I had here was truly wow. Every project that I've done here um, was amazing. Every, every member of the staff that I encountered and I, and I, and I met um, in my path here, it was, everyone left such a big mark in my heart, really. Yeah, every moment was so special, really. I cannot uh, isolate one moment and say that was, and this is the special thing about RCS, then that the students here really feel that every moment is so full on, it is so important, it is so special, it's, there is never a dull moment in RCS. The skills I learned here, aside from the obvious working on your singing, working on languages, having an idea of what the profession could hold, the sheer volume of work that you have to do here at times and your time management, both in classes, with leader classes, with French classes, with learning new repertoire, and learning yourself to schedule your diary accordingly and knowing what's a priority what can be put on the back burner, and learning what your limits are in terms of learning new pieces, in terms of vocal limits, in terms of learning where you can safely sing something and try it out, and what might be a level too far to try that at. That was something I learned here. It made me into a kind of rounded artist um, because the what I did with my teacher, um, technically, um, uh, what I did with uh, coaches musically um, and what I did with uh, uh, directors or, or the, the Mark Hathaway, the um, acting coach here, um, uh, really stood me in good stead, really, really did. Um, there are a lot of great things happening here. What kept me here ultimately was um, Claire Shearer, my teacher, uh, for the last three years I was here. She was a very pivotal teacher in my student career. But I, I'm so honoured to be representing Scotland and it's a, it's, um, it's a huge honour to be representing Scotland and um, uh, it's a really, really exciting opportunity.